Hello everybody, welcome to Hogwash Gaming. I'm not Matt, I'm Joe. And you are watching the playthrough of Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Nintendo Entertainment System version. Of course, this is actually an emulator, so uh, it's not actually the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, but it's still a great game. We are now in World 4, and World 4 is Giant Land. I love, I love Giant Land. It's probably my second favorite world next to uh, SeaWorld. I love both these worlds. They're just, they're just so much fun. Whoop! Yeah, I got my mushroom on. Woohoo! So as usual, when we're playing through this game, I intend to do as many bonus rooms as I can. I know quite a few. There's, To be honest, there might be a few that I don't know. I'm not really sure of that, actually. I've been playing this game for a long time, and uh, I think I know where pretty much everything is. Including this secret area up here. It's probably not that secret, actually, but it's cool. Go over to this section here, and we go into this pipe, and this another pipe in the sky leads to some other drain underground. Because that makes sense. There's actually two hidden... Um, uh, extra life mushrooms here. That was one. There's the other. And in that other block is just a coin. But I'm gonna get it anyways because I like coins. Mario's gotta pay his insurance. And he's gotta pay for new overalls too because these yeah, these overalls that he's wearing, man, they go through a beating. I mean, look at this. He's taking them in water. He gets them set on fire because he falls into lava. Gets them bitten by a turtle and going through mist gets them all wet again. I mean, he, he goes through a lot. I mean, I think that the bravery of Mario is not appreciated. And this is, Mario's like the ultimate, um, Mario's the ultimate hero. He really is. And he does it in two dimensions. Who else has done that? Superman? No, I think not. Respect Mario. Gotta respect him. All right, back on topic. We just finished the course. We got our first star. We're going to try to get three, but, uh, wow. Yes, we got another 80,000 points. So we got our coin card, or our coin card, our item card. Flip over any two cards and see if they match. Miss twice and you're out. All right, we got a whole new board here. Let's see what we get. A star. What? Okay, there must be a star in this corner then. All right. I really don't have any of these memorized, so we're just going blind. Oh, I remember that there is a mushroom here, though. That's good. Let's see. I think there's a flower here and a... Okay, apparently not. All right, well, we got a star and a mushroom. That's cool. Now, if you had managed to save a hammer and uh, you could break this block right here, you could go into that red mushroom house and you'd get yourself a bear suit. This is the first... World 4 is the first world where you can get a bear suit, and it's like... It's my favorite item to use. You can fly, and you can uh, do this cool thing where you turn into this sort of a monkey statue. You turn into this statue, and while you're in the statue state, you can't be hurt, and you can land on things that you wouldn't normally be able to land on. Oh, stupid! Oh, man. Really could have used that star because we're about to go through a zone where we're trying to dodge a lot of fish. Gosh. Dang flying fish. Let's get the star. Yeah! Two stars. Anyway, the raccoon suit is my favorite item, and uh, you'll get to see that a little bit later. We can get it in, um, uh, is it a mushroom? No, there's a stage that we can get it in, actually, but it'll come up later, and I'll show you what it looks like. In the meantime, we're going to get ourselves a leaf. Now, you only get a certain amount of spaces in your item bar. Let me just see how we're doing here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's only four that you can get. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, using some items just to save some space because I only have slots for two or three more items. So I'm going to start using some items that I don't really want, like stars and music blocks. Um, they're, you know, stuff that I don't really, I'm not going to use them much. I'm just going to use them at the beginning and then they're just taking up space. So, oh, snap, timing was off there. The music blocks actually have a somewhat useful feature if you're a coward. They turn the music on 
obviously. And they put those, uh, those hammer bros that wander around the map to sleep. So you don't have to, um... The hammer bros aren't like a normal stage where, you know, you... Oh, son of a gun. The hammer bros aren't like a normal stage where if you run into it, you have the choice of playing the stage or not as soon as you push B or A or whatever it is. Um, the hammer bros, you, you touch them, you have to battle them, period. But if you use the music block then it'll put them to sleep, and you don't have to fight them if you don't want to. But I always want to, so I never use the music blocks. So we'll probably use a couple just to save space in the item. Alright, let's see if we can get our five up here. Any surprises over here? Nope. All right. Run this way. Get up to a full sprint. Yeah, we got it! Oh yeah! Five extra lives coming up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah! Up to 49. Pretty cool if we could get up to 99 lives by the end of this walkthrough. Or playthrough. Uh, let's see, what can we take into this place? Um, we have a star. We have a star. Oh, wrong button. I guess we'll take in a mushroom. <laughs> Sweet! Ah, these little flames with legs. They're creepy. Why? Well, have you ever seen a flame with legs? Now you have. Look at how creepy that is. They walk up behind you only if you're not looking, just like the ghosts. They only move if you're not looking. It's weird. And just like the graphics of... Uh, graphics of the 90s, this fire isn't very realistic. It doesn't flicker when it's not moving. Interesting little sprites. I think they only have two frames. Alright, let's finish up this castle as we wander across the checkerboard. Boom! Boom! Yeah, if you can time it just right, you can jump on him before he actually uh, lifts his spikes. And you can get him without a problem. And that's the way to do it. Wow, we're making good time here. Let's try our luck at the uh, lineup one-up thing. <laughs> Line up the pictures and get a prize. You only get one try. Let's just do it really quick. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, are we gonna... Oh, of course not. But we did get one of each. But this isn't Vegas, so we still get nothing. Alright. Board four. This one's fun as soon as you take that guy out. If you go in with a uh, mushroom... Uh, not a mushroom, a frog suit, then this would be easier, but there is a way to get past this pipe that I'll show you in a second without a frog suit. If you remember from the last world, you need a frog suit to be able to swim through those air bubbles. And you do. But if you get the angle just right in this level, you can still reach the bonus room without a frog suit. And I can do it. Just a little tricky. You gotta get the right trajectory and the right angle. Uh, that wasn't it. Hang on, wait for it. Almost, almost. Hang on, we'll get it fun, because there's a whole bunch of coins down there as soon as you can get in. There we go. Perfect. And you get into this little air pocket over here, which is great, because Mario's going to drown otherwise. Not really. He can just breathe forever. He also has an interest in investing in silver. I think that's why all these coins are the color that they are, because the stock market of the Mushroom Kingdom just sucks, and Mario's put all his stock into Princess Toadstool's security firm, which, as everyone knows does a terrible job, because that's how she keeps getting kidnapped. So, that's why he decided to invest in some silver, and I think that's why those coins are actually the color that they are. That makes sense, right? Of course it does. You know what else makes sense? Fireballs underwater. Alright, here we go. Past the giant coral, past the giant blocks, dodging the spiky balls, there's really nothing down there to venture, so you might as well just swim up at the top of the surface and see what's going on up here. Yeah, the most exciting part of that stage is actually the coins, because everything else you just swim through. It's pretty easy. Alright, a flower? Huh. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get a flower three times in a row. Then again, maybe not. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Oh, there's another flower. It's a shame it's not in the item blocks for the three in a row. 
Okay, so here's an example of the Hammer Bros. In this world, apparently there's three. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the music block does. See that? They're all asleep. Aww. And I can just slip right past them. They'll wake up eventually. Okay. Is this the board I'm thinking it is? If it is, this is a stage where I can actually choose whether or not whether or not I want the enemies to be big or small. I guess we'll find out in just a second if this is that board or not. I'm not sure it is. Nope. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, this is the stage where I can get the uh, bear suit. Awesome. Again, six-year-old vocabulary. Probably wrong. I don't think the suit is actually a bear. I think it's a raccoon, because if you beat a uh, castle while still wearing the raccoon suit, or bear suit, as I'm going to call it, he says, thank you, kind raccoon. So it probably is a raccoon suit. This is it. What do you think? Am I a raccoon? Am I a raccoon? Or am I a statue? I love turning into the statue. While you're the statue, you're invincible, as I said, and you can jump on things you wouldn't normally jump on. It is just a fantastic suit to have. I'll show you how it works here. Watch this. Get down here, and poof! It only lasts for a limited amount of time, but that limited amount of time is lots of fun. But it's very easy to lose this suit, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> That's fun. Hey, I got two flowers, too. Maybe I'll just do that same thing next time. Turn in full sprint into the end and land on the item. We got another card? Man, I'm racking up these points. All right, let's see here. Uh, um, oh, awesome. Got it. Uh, is there one here? Nope. Okay. Oh, okay, well, we know where the other 20 coin is. Uh, let's see. Star. Where was another star? Not there. Oh, well. Oh, they're awake. All right, so I'm going to take in a star for this one. But uh, in Giant World, these, uh, these guys are actually more dangerous because, well, they're giant. And as you can see, I'll show you in a second, when they jump, see how he's bouncing like that? Mario's bouncing up and down. You can't move. While that's happening. Oh! I hope you guys appreciate that. I was just demonstrating how dangerous these guys were. And I lost my suit and everything. Thanks a lot! But anyways, as you see, when they hit the ground, you will, uh, you'll get stuck for a moment. That's what a thumper does. So you gotta be really careful, and, uh, you should probably take in something like spitting or something. Or, every time he jumps, I'll demonstrate. Oh! No, I won't. Every time he jumps, if you just jump at the same time, he won't hit you because if you're not touching the ground, then you can't get affected by the ground pound. That's the logic here. But let's just take these guys out. I can throw a fireball at him. There, we're done. No problem. Alright. So all three of those guys are taken out, but we did lose our bear suit. Crying shame. Okay, this must be the stage where I can choose if everyone's going to be giant or not. It's actually a lot of fun to do just with these magic doors right here. Walk in here, everyone's tiny. Walk in here, everyone's big. Now, I'm gonna let myself get hurt just so I can show you something. Okay, so if you find yourself in this situation, you're like, oh no, I am small. I want a feather back. I wanna have as much protection as I can get. Well, this item block right here, you can get a mushroom and poof, but if you want a feather, all you have to do is go back to the store, go into Little Land, and there's the block again. But in Little Land, it'll only be a coin. If you turn it to Giant Land, by going through the door again, the block will be back, and you can get yourself a feather. So there's basically an unlimited amount of items in that one section there, should you need it. Useful tip. You're welcome. Alright, let's keep moving here. Oh, I forgot about those. Oh, yep. Well, here we go. See, I want my uh, feather back, so I'm gonna go all the way back here. And get into the door. Go to Little Land. Go to Giant Land. And get my feather back. I think there's actually a... Yeah, there's a star there. There we go. Take that! Aha! What are you gonna do about it now? Nothing! Nothing, because you're lame. 
taking out turtles with turtles. Alright, so I guess this is it. This is where we gotta try to get a flower, but I doubt it's gonna happen. Nope, we got a star. Of course we got a star. <laughs> oh well, that's alright. 51 lives. Halfway to 100. You know, you have 51 times 2 was 100. Alright, this red mushroom house here for sure will give us a bear suit to add to the supply. Let's just take a look here. What? No, we always get a bear suit. Oh, okay, I guess it's not a 100% rate. You can get a bear suit in there, but I guess you don't always get it. Uh, I guess if you watched my uh, episode 3 of uh, World 3, you noticed that I wasn't always correct about what items you get in the mushroom houses. I should probably stop making guesses, but I will probably do it anyway. Ah, uh, almost done. Ah, this first section here it could be tough. Mario's got some serious leg strength to make these jumps. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And rah, that's a tense jump, but he makes it effortlessly. All right, check this out right here. Bounce off of that dude. And right in here, aha, secret space. This is a preview of a stage that is from World 7. It's, I mean, it's, it's exact, it looks exactly like this. World 7 is Pipe World, and you can see why it's called that. If you can't, then you're kind of blind. But anyway, it's interesting that Nintendo put this in here. I mean, it is actually an exact cutout from the stage in uh, in World 7. You'll recognize it once we get to that in this playthrough. But for now, just enjoy this bonus room. It's fun to play. Up, pipe. Oh, come on. Gotta get it. Gotta get it in the center. There we go. Ah, little boxes with the light bulbs instead of an arrow change every time you jump on them. You change directions. So you gotta be careful when you jump to avoid something because you're also gonna change the direction that you're floating in. Oh, another fun thing about this stage, about World 7, is you can do this. <laughs> over and over and over. Okay, if that amuses you, you can stay there as long as you want, as long as your time doesn't run out. Alright, there's also a hidden mushroom here. Alright, there's the first block. There's the second, and then the last one. Oh, come on. The last one is right here. There you go. Get yourself an extra life. And if you were able to fly in this section, you'd get these three extra lives, and you'd be able to fly up there and get a whole bunch of coins. But I lost my raccoon suit, so I can't fly. Can't get up there. That's okay, though. Can't win them all. Just telling you where it is. Whoa! Dang it! Stupid radioactive waffle. Ah. Taking you out. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot! Man, if you let him move too fast, he can get really difficult. Alright. Da, 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 da. All right, we've made it to the end of World 4. And this time I saved my game correctly. <laughs> In fact, I'm just going to do this. There. Here we go. Going in as a flea. The king is... Oh, it's terrible. The king has been into, transformed into a gorilla. Where did they think of that? <coughs> Excuse me. You gotta wonder why a flying ship in the sky has an anchor. I mean, it's just, it, I don't know, it's kind of weird to think that a, a flying ship is gonna drop an anchor and hook onto what, a, a tree? Um, I don't know, I guess that could work, but. To me, it just seems like if you wanted to stop a flying ship. Actually, I don't know. If you wanted the flying ship to just stay where it was, maybe an anchor is the best way to do it. 
it just it's got to be awkward for the people who are on the ground. There's just an anchor that falls out of the sky. They'll be like, what is this, Cartoon Network? You know, the thing I don't like, I, I, I may have already said this, but the thing I don't like about moving boards is not that they're challenging because they're moving, but it's actually annoying because they're too slow. They, uh, son of a gun. I could actually be moving faster than this board is taking me. And it's just frustrating because I want to move ahead in the stage, but I have to wait for the board to catch up. Like that mushroom. I would have got that mushroom. Whoa! Just toasted my nose. Did you see that? I'm surprised Mario still got his mustache on there. In real life, that would have been singed right off. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Big jump time. JUMP! Oh, I didn't make it. Shoot. Now I have to brave the flames of death up here. Wait for it. Timing is everything here. Timing is everything. Now. Okay, awesome. I believe there's an item block over here. Yep, there is. Okay, so I want to be careful because this is a ship where you can fall off the edge. There we go. So if I wanted to jump off the edge for whatever reason, I could. I'm not going to. But I could. This guy's weird. Is that his hair on top or is that an orange glove that he just likes to wear as a hat? He didn't get to spit one, one, one bubble, did he? Okay, we gotta carry on the six-year-old tradition and scream all the way through until we land. Ready? <gasps> that every time, every time, never gets old. But you can tell it was a tradition from a six-year-old. Anyway, let's read our letter from the princess. Greetings. The thief who stole the whistle has escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. I've enclosed a jewel that helps protect your princess toadstool. She gave us some pee wings. Awesome! I'm trying to figure this part out, though. The thief who stole the whistle has escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. Oh, I know what she's talking about. She's talking about that whistle that we got from the Red Hammer Bros in World 2. So the question is, why is she giving us this tip when we're in World 4? Isn't that kind of, like, late? I guess, you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be angry because she is, you know, captive right now. I'm sure that the postal service she's using is not on top of their game. So, once again, P-Wings. Not a jewel. Why does she call it a jewel? World 5! Oh, we're at World 5 and 55 lives. 55 and World 5. That's where we're going to end it today, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been Joe High playing Super Mario Bros. 3 for Hogwash Gaming. Tune in next time when we get through World 5, which takes place in the sky. There's all sorts of cool stuff in this world, so you will not want to miss it. I will see you next time, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.